So if you're tired of using Excel's default color palette and you want to kind of level things up, get a little more creative with colors in your reports and dashboards, I want to give you some quick tips that I think are going to make this a lot easier for you. So first thing, if you're in a company or organization, see if your company has a brand style guide. If you don't know what that is, ask a designer. They'll tell you if you have one or not. This is going to give you some clear guidance for what colors to use, how to use them, where to use them, what fonts to use, all those types of things. If your company doesn't have a brand style guide, you can also use a PowerPoint slide as a reference. PowerPoint slides are typically pretty nicely designed. They already have colors you can use. It's a great reference point. Or if you don't even have that, check out your website. If you have a website for your business or organization, typically a designer will have taken some time to choose some nice colors that you can use as a reference for the rest of your reporting. And if you really are starting from zero, you have nothing you can use to reference. The first thing I do is go out and look at some dashboards and find some examples you like and start with that as your jumping off point. There are also some really great free color palette generating tools out there that will just auto generate a color palette for you to start with. I'm saying all this because if you're not a designer, designer, you can still create really beautiful reports. You don't really need a design background to do this stuff. Those are just a few tips to get you started. If you have any other specific questions or want me to go into more depth on anything, let me know in the comments. Thanks so much for tuning in, everybody. Oh, and if you want a copy of this template, this is one of the templates that goes out on the newsletter. There's a link to it in my profile if you're into that. Anyway, thanks so much, everyone. Bye.